The Atlas Space Project is a collaborative European project to find more space for sustainable aquaculture. And aquaculture is the cultivation of fish and shellfish in the sea and in fresh water. And one of the ways to find more sustainable space involves marine spatial planning. And what better place to do this than in Venice, a city at the head of the Adriatic, built up from the sea, a place where the Republic of Venice has been planning the use of the sea for 1,000 years or longer. This is the famous fish market next to the Rialto Bridge across the Grand Canal. Behind me, the fishmongers are putting out their wares for the day. They've been brought by boat up the Grand Canal. Very simple question, where do these fish come from? And the obvious answer is from the sea. But the fish in the sea depend on getting their food from marine food webs and ultimately from the sunlight that falls on the sea. And these are things that marine resource economists call marine ecosystem services. These are provided by the sea, by the food webs in the sea, ultimately to humans. So the question the resource economist asks is, how do we distribute the results of these marine ecosystem services fairly in society? And they tell us there are three ways to do this. So the first way is through a market, the sort of market we have here. Now, the market's a great place. If you have money, you can satisfy your taste for any kind of fish. You can come to the market and you can buy exactly what you want. Very good for individual preferences, but markets are not so good for ensuring sustainability in the sea. So the second way to do this is for people to agree amongst themselves to use the sea sustainably. And we saw a very good example of that in the lagoon where the shellfish farmers have come together to agree to sustainably use the resources of the lagoon for clams and for, for mussels. In this place in particular, people realized quite soon that in order to manage this resource sustainable, they had to get organized and to cooperate. They formed this consortium about 25 years ago and they asked for advice to a colleague in the University of Ferrara at the time. They set up a committee and they started thinking at this business in sustainable terms, in terms of stock assessment and quota. In this case, there's a very good result. We've got a cooperative, hundreds, perhaps several thousand people who make their living from the lagoon. But the resources of the lagoon are finite, so if we want to expand production of farmed fish and farmed shellfish from the sea, then we have to go further offshore. And here's where problems arise, because if there's no planning, no regulation, there would be fights, there would be competition, people would come along and exploit all the food, all the shellfish in one place and denude it. So this is where government needs to step in and uh, plan and regulate. And this is a case for marine spatial planning to make sure that we use the offshore waters sustainably. Beh, io credo che sia fondamentale definire lo spazio marittimo perché se non riusciamo a chiarire bene quali sono gli spazi che possono essere dedicati alla monocultura e i rapporti che hanno con gli altri settori e quindi con tutti quelli che sono interessati appunto all'uso degli spazi sarà difficile sviluppare adeguatamente la monocultura. Per noi è un, è un punto fondamentale sia per le condizioni ambientali sia per, dicevo, i rapporti che ci sono con gli altri. So our work in Aquaspace was uh, related with investigating the best site to, to, to deploy the mussel farms. With the software that we developed with Blue Farm, it's possible to combine the different uh, criteria to evaluate the suitability for mussel farming and we applied the idea to the Northern Adriatic Sea. And here you can see a, a map. Uh, which is uh, showing the suitability for mussel farming according to different criteria, uh, where red would be worst place and green would be the best place. And the other colors that you see uh, are the presence of other activities in the area. We make a map in order to show, in accordance to our model and the tools, which are the best area to expand mussel farming activity. Questo progetto è esempio sicuramente per quanto riguarda l'Emilia Romagna dove ha fatto un, ha fatto un caso di studio, è un caso di studio che io mi sono guardato attentamente e sicuramente è utilissimo per quello che noi vogliamo mettere 
in campo nei prossimi anni, che, in, nei prossimi mesi, non nei prossimi anni, che è la definizione di questo piano regionale dell'acquacoltura legato alla definizione delle ASA. One can use the plugin as I use it here to interact with the stakeholders and decide together if assigning a priority to the optimization of the growth of the muscle or to the decrease of the, the, the environmental interactions or to increase, for example, the socio-economic performance of the activity. Di questo grande piano che vorremmo mettere su per quanto riguarda l'Adriatico è un sogno, un sogno però che speriamo si possa realizzare perché riteniamo che il mare debba unire, non dividere. Thank you.